here there's other guys like we mentioned Sinji early, earlier, LRA Start, Madison Turner, Teapot, Joshathan Gamer, and all those guys. But right now we're gonna get to Among Us and Pokey Lamb with yeah. Isabel. So let's get right to it. Yeah, now of course Pokey Lamb normally known for his villager. Uh, and although you know, Villager and Isabel come from yeah. the same game series, and they look like they have similar movesets, there's definitely some heavy differences in the characters. And I've never personally seen his Isabel, so I'm very curious to see how those differences end up manifesting in the gameplay. Exactly. I would expect to see a little bit more trap play with Isabel. You know, she has the rockets that she buries in the grounds and then obviously that lethal fishing pole to just trap your opponent but right now among us his joker is just ledge guarding like crazy so if pokey lamb has any chance needs to get control of the middle ground and start trapping him. yeah and i think that that's one of the big differences between the two characters is that isabel can be ledge trapped a lot more <laughs> and right there a fantastic read on the air dodge and Among Us, is this is a massive lead for him, especially because Isabel, not a great character at playing from behind. I know. I mean, you would think that 72% might be enough to take down Among Us, but he's in Arsene mode right now. And anytime you're in Arsene mode, it's going to be really difficult as we see. Plus, Isabel's already at 92, so Pokey Lamb a little bit in trouble. Yeah, and having a hitbox with, uh, sorry, a recovery with no hitbox against that our set back air is just so scary. Exactly. In the just end, the, go ahead. Him doesn't die, but he's taken so much damage. Yep. And there's that rocket once again that was going to be buried. And that was actually the first time we saw that. And that was a good use to put it in. Just too bad it wasn't enough to take a stock from Among Us. Yeah. And even though that, that Lloyd rocket can be really good for... Uh, it doesn't necessarily, it's not like it gets a free kill, really. No, um, you're right. So, and right now, that's what must be in Pokalam's mind, is how does he actually take this first stock from among us? Because he's already looking like, all right, there, a little bit of an overextension little, on Among Us's part. Smash. He has that much of a lead, so he can just kind of rip out and up smash on occasion. Uh, but now let's see if maybe, ooh, Pokalam could do some nice things. Yeah, Pokalam might want to try to play a little bit of keep away because, oh, that's... Or just go ahead and start fresh and just pray with the one stock you got. I mean, right now, Among Us is sitting at 71% while Pokalam is... Well, I was about to say pure, but now it's 29. So you just got to keep that up a little bit better than you did before. Oh, oh. he's gone. That was it, the yeah. entire stock. That was just a quick zero to death for Pokey Lamb right there. So Joker's gonna take this first match over Pokey Lamb and Isabel. So maybe a character change. What, what would you yeah, say? Yeah, I, I was just about to say, um, it felt like there were certain weaknesses that is of Isabel that were really exploited there. Number one was the recovery. Uh, she does have access to fishing pole, but she doesn't have the same stalling options with Lloyd Rocket to put out a hitbox. So. I mean, Pokalam, he, he does have a lot of characters under his belt. He might want to try and just, you know, tough it out with Isabel. But if winning is really the first foremost thing on his mind, I think a villager switch might be in order. You're probably right right there. I mean, the problem was he just didn't get enough damage on and just really didn't get enough hits. You just got to play a little bit closer to your opponent. Joker's just so... Like, he's just a really great character to play as. He's got speed, and then obviously when he goes into Arsene mode, the damage is going to just rack up upon you. So you just got to keep your distance a little bit, play a little bit more defense. We didn't really see a lot of defense from Pokalam. It was just attack and then just kind of like stay away, try to play keep away. But then also we just got the all the um, hits as well. And I believe we just saw Villager be selected. Yep. Yep. Okay, definitely the right call here. And I think it's really, it's gonna be a lot of fun to see how the villager is played differently. For one, it's gonna be a lot trickier for Among Us to just trap him at the ledge and get 80%. Uh, Pokalam is a lot more familiar with this character. Already having access to a wall jump like that, he managed to turn that situation around. 
And yeah, you were talking before about how he, last game he wasn't really able to set up any type of defense. Immediately the opposite as we're seeing. Like he's able to throw out these slingshots of like the recoveries. This is night and day. Yeah. Yeah, that recovery right there, that was almost dangerous. And Joker almost went for that spike, thinking he was going to just recover right off the bat. But no, he just went up for the up air and then recovered. So really smart IQ play from Pokalam right there. And right now, it's definitely looking like a dead even game. Okay, that's a big grab, not just because it's nice damage, but also it'll help pick down our Sen. Definitely, like, if as soon as our Sen is gone, Pokalam can breathe a little bit more easily. Okay, we... Oh, it runs out just as that forward air is connecting. So, now Pokalam, he's only at 68%. And it's going to be a lot. He's not going to die from, like, an errant back air or anything. So, yeah, and, and I would say Villager's aerial attacks are a little bit better than Isabel's. Some, you might... People can argue with me on that. I mean, I don't really play the Animal Crossing characters that much, but I, from what I notice, I feel like, especially in this game, the aerials from Villager are making a difference in this one. Yeah, if somebody tries to fight you on that, just nair in their face like seven times, <laughs> Villager. Uh, that yeah. move has no end lag. And oh, the three turn, if I think that was, gonna be taking that stock. Only 90% and 30. Oh, tree. the bat from the tree. Oh, you gotta love the tree. As my friend Ryan would say, anytime he used that move, he just yells tree. <laughs> I, I, I really just say you should yell timber, but I mean, either way works. And it looks like he's gonna plant that tree once again, try to get that and doesn't quite get it on time. Arsene trying to save him a little bit. Oh yeah. So even though Pokemon had to go low, the uh, uh, Among Us was a little bit too scared of that wall jump factor, and so Pokalem managed to get back to the ledge. And, that, like, to me, it's the ledge is what's the difference in this game. Ooh. I mean, look at that off spike. Just nasty. Brutal. That was just nasty. Pokalem didn't have to do Among Us dirty like that. Oh, my goodness. And now it's just one stock for Among Us. And, oh, I wonder how that... That's that's gonna be so much damage over time. That must have been like 30% if it got pocketed, at least. Yeah, I didn't see him pocket that originally. Was that all? I wonder if that was a while back or he just pocketed it immediately and then just bounced it back. Okay, there's uh, the pocket. No, I think he missed whipped on a pocket there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I'm just too excited and I just like to see what I wanna see sometimes. And man, villagers back throw too. That's something to reckon with at the same time. Yeah, the fact that he's able to. Oh, he's mm. all right. trying to go for something cute with the ledge, with the uh, with the wall jump there. But the fact that unlike Isabel, villager has a stalling option with the side beam meant that he just wasn't in the place that uh, Among Us was hoping he would be at. Exactly. I mean, yeah, really just. Look, yep, he tried to be fancy too, and then, you know, Pokalam just showed him, hey, this is how you do it. I mean, that, you know it can do it better than Villager. <laughs> was that also, that might have been a bit of a misinput there. I think he wanted to reverse up B. Would that have, that should have been able to reverse? Yeah, I think, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe he was in Arsene mode. Actually, no, he no. wasn't. Never yeah, mind. Yeah. So, yeah, he just went a little bit too far, so his normal recovery would not be able to connect there. So, yeah, definitely a little bit of a misinput, you would assume. Yeah, definitely um, but really like he just wants to turn it around. A, definitely a total yeah. turnaround game right here. But either way, yeah, it definitely looks like, uh, what's his name, Among Us, trying to take the turnaround, trying to recover, just didn't quite work out as well. But either way, now we're going into a game three, and I'm... I'm assuming this is going to go down to the last stock here. I don't know, because I guess uh, Among Us won game one. But honestly, game one and the information you can take from it is a non Uh Among Us, the, the, the big difference is that before he was king of the ledge, now he needs to figure out what he needs to do against Pokalem's ledge play, because it, it, that, that was just absolutely a slaughter when he got to the corner of the stage. Mm -hmm, exactly, and I definitely think the last day Joshi's story was definitely a big factor for a monk <laughs> or Pokalam to do that, and just the boxing gloves right there. So okay, oh! maybe oh maybe the stage is kind of a factor for him, and now using the tree to just block his path. I don't know. Yeah, this, this might not be a three-stock game unless Among Us turns this around real quick. 
I mean, he... But he lost the access to an Arsen. Look, look how low that meter is now because he died at that super low percent. Yeah, you hate to see it. And just wish I mean, you had that. If you're Pokelam, you love to see it. If you're Pokelam, of course you love to see it. And Pokelam fans. But either way, Among Us right now is just try it, struggling, and except for that last aerial attack. And now it's back to two stocks. And pretty even. He still has 4%. Okay. Oh, that big, big damage. Gets the read on the tech roll. Didn't really get more damage beyond that. And now Arsene is in effect. But... Oh, yeah. If you're a Pokalam, it's it's so hard. Do you want to, like, try and, like, hit Joker to run down that Arsene meter? Or do you try and play super defensive to time it out? And it can be I... so hard to make that call. Oh, one misstep and already you're off stage. And it's so, so scary. I mean, me personally, I would probably defense it. So you would just chew out our send clock. You know, just run around a little bit, make make him use it up. But right now, now he's used it all up. But still, Among Us at 38, and now Pokalam down a stock. That might have been some questionable DI there, and that's gonna really hurt him. I want to point out that this game started out with Among Us taking a huge hit early on, and now he's that entire second stock was almost he it was virtually untouched. He was at 40%, I think, when Pokalam just respawned. So, uh, you know, I think that the adaptations were made. If you notice, the offstage gameplay is so much better for Among Us now. Uh, exactly. I mean, the stage is probably helping him a little bit. The platforms are a little flatter, and you don't have to try to be fancy and try to bounce off the ledge as we saw that last game. Here's Arsene once again, trying to make something happen. So Ooh, that's going to be so I much damage. Exactly. I'm oh boy. Damage. This is this is definitely a back and forth slug fest right now, but all of a sudden Poke Lamb just lost it. So it was not a last stock game, but not in the way that nah. I was thinking. Poke Lamb looks so so dominant in game two, but just the momentum shifted hard. The big thing is that game two, he had the lead pretty much the entire time. And this game he also had a massive lead. A massive, massive lead start but then it was snatched away from him and once it was taken away Pokalem just couldn't find the room to recover exactly i mean really it was just all about among us just adjusting from that last game and let me point out after that first stock he stayed alive all that time because it was just basically three stocks in a row for Pokalem. he just did, hung did in there wait, very well on that last did he wait out the invincibility from pocket yeah, honestly he probably did i i I couldn't tell you, but either way, it was definitely an interesting play right there in this game three. So right now, Among Us has two wins over Pokalam's one. But right now, the adjustments, as we've seen from Pokalam, we, I wouldn't be surprised if this flipped the other way once again. This has been, you know, just adjustment after adjustment for both of these fighters. So I would expect another adjustment for Pokalam, and maybe we might see, I don't know. We'll yeah. see. We we'll may see something better. Another big part about this, though, is the stage count. As we're seeing, we're now in Kalos, which means that that wall jump is now pretty much a consistent option for Pokalem, and we saw how he's able to do so much with that when we were on Yoshi. Uh, so the fact that Pokalem seeded game one by playing, like, trying out the Isabel might really cost him because it uh, means that he's going to have to, even if he wins this game, he's going to have to play game five on Among Us's counter pick. And the longer, the, this stage also, longer space, but that means that Pokalam is more tempted to throw out these longer range projectiles. And, oh, Among Us is showing him why he should not be doing that. Arsene already in effect when he's only at 32%. Yeah, definitely um, Among Us taking a bit bigger lead right here. But yeah, you definitely make a really great point. That pick with Isabel in the beginning, you know, he just, he didn't have it quite in him. He just didn't quite get a lot of defense, or defense, excuse me, a lot of offense as he is with Villager. But right now, Among Us is trying to make him pay. What was the spacing on that? That must have been like pixels away. You saw Pokalim's grab come out and it was just barely that up smash out spaced it. Uh, it is just a little questionable move right there. But either way, Pokalam, don't count him out just yet. He's still trying to adjust and the stage is with the back air or on the wall jump excuse me not the back air the wall jump 
still in his effect, but right now, as I say that, Among Us is trying to prove me wrong. Now, one really big adjustment, if you've noticed at the ledge, that Among Us is giving him much more space. He understands how much of a threat like wall jump forward air or neutral air is. So instead, he's going at like the roll distance and throwing out, you know, these projectiles to try and go for the ledge trap. He's not, mm -hmm. he's not getting the ledge turned around on him anymore. And that's been really, really big for him. 80%, he's about to have Arsene once again. And there it is. And now if you're Pokalam, you're at death percent. Oh, and you just took yeah. all the damage from that. Exactly. Among Us just keeping that distance, just like you said. And, you know, it also just takes away Pokeland's ability to just recover the ledge. And that's just going to be very, very deadly for Pokeland right there. Because, you know, on the ledge, he would use the tree to block his path of recovery or just fire off a rocket or whatever he would do. But now he doesn't have that opportunity since Among Us is just spacing it out. And we saw Pokalem take a little bit of time on that respawn platform. <laughs> and maybe that's what he needed, a bit of a breather, managing to take that first stock pretty quickly without suffering much damage. But he is down an entire clean stock here. That being said, you're talking about how not to count Pokalem out. And one of the things that he can do is that Villager has tons of kill power when he gets put in the right situation. So uh, I think that it's going to pretty much going to be required of Pokalam to do something like that. Bowling ball at the ledge, perhaps a tree of some kind, because he is not going to be able to grind uh, among us. He's already yeah. taken 33%, and now Arsene's online. Exactly. Now you got to be really, really careful with Arsene in play, because you're basically near death percentage, and I believe that 75 is going to get you into death percentage. <laughs> I, I'm not going to argue with you there. That's going to be a 3-1 victory for Among Us. Yeah, just a really well done game from Among Us. Well done set how, all the way with all the three games going in. And really, it was just that one game on the Yoshi Story uh, stage that really just made him switch the, pa the pace and play and just changed his style almost and really just try to get get that Arsene going because that was mainly I would say that's the biggest difference was just the times Arsene came out and just took over the game for him.